So something you mentioned in the tease, Bill, that I am not very happy about. That was? Heat wave. Yeah. The two words I never want to hear during a forecast. And it looks like a big one. Yeah. I mean, the, every potential is there that we could be seeing just a whole lot of heat coming mm. in here for the end of the week, into the next weekend. But we do have rain before that happens, and that's okay. the good news. So all right. Well, I guess we'll take that. Let's talk about all of it. The more, and put it this way, the more rain we get now, over the next two days, that tempers the heat a little bit more. So that may keep us from the absolute extreme. So there are many reasons to hope for rain at this point. Uh, Max Track Live Doppler here, 616. Most of the rain today has been south and east of Lexington. We saw uh, temperatures today that were well into the 80s. In fact, we folks were pushing 90, and it was on that boundary between that heat and where it was cooler because of cloud cover that the storms blossomed up. Uh, we still have some pretty decent ones. You see all the lightning strikes. So the calling card of these storms, torrential rainfall, and intense lightning. A few wind gusts could try and approach severe limits, but that really is not going to be the main player. So at this point, you folks in Corbin to London, then going out along the Hal Rogers there in southern Laurel County into Clay County, you've got a dandy of a thunderstorm in progress. So we do have high water running. We've got flood advisories up in these areas. So be aware that again, you're seeing just a heavy summertime thunderstorm. It continues up into Owsley and Breathitt County. Not nearly as much lightning display, so again, not as intense a storm. Uh, you can take that over into uh, Floyd County as well. Uh, more rain then going through the eastern part of Morgan County up into Elliott County right over Cave Run. And then lighter rain continues then back all the way through Mount Vernon and Crab Orchard. The moment the Lexus Dome is in effect, although we did get rain earlier. So watch how the day has unfolded. So watch these thunderstorms blossom up. And again, that was the boundary between the cloud cover and where the sun had come out for a while. And again, you see these storms that moved on off to the east. But there's more rain back here, so we're not done. That's good. The needed rain is on the way for many of us. A few stronger storms may be around for us, not only this evening, uh, but even into tomorrow as well. Uh, the Great Plains Heat Dome, <laughs> it is something. A little lobe of that is coming our way toward the latter part of the week. Bluegrass Airport, we picked up almost a third of an inch of rain. We're still below normal for the month and for the year, but we'll have a chance to put some dents into those deficits. In fact, the south side of Lexington, the Mesonet site, half inch. That's at the intersection of Man of War and Nicholasville Road. Uh, Stanford, Danville, Harrodsburg all picked up four tenths of an inch, as did West Liberty, Owensville, and Moorhead. Corbin picked up a half inch of rain. Whitley City, a couple of tenths. So again, you've seen the rain out there. And again, we're not done. So the possibility of some locally heavy rain, not only for the rest of today, but tonight into tomorrow, it covers a good chunk of the area. So that's the flooding rain risk comes under that slight category. Reason being is that over the next 24 to 36 hours, we could be picking up anywhere from, if you look at the scale above, half to about an inch and a half of rain. So again, that's a pretty wide average. If you get under a couple of these heavier storms and those downpours, you may pick up a couple inches, but again, the average for the area a half to around an inch and a half. Can't rule out a stronger thunderstorm either, either. so the uh, severe risk, essentially I-75 and I-64 east and south, and that heads on into West Virginia then. Bigger picture, we've watched these initial waves of storms come on through. But you see there's more back here, Illinois, all the way back into Missouri, so the front is still sitting up to our north and west. There it is, until it crosses, our rain chances will be around. We work then into tonight. There's the next waves of rain beginning to assemble. Those will come through then in the hours after midnight and before dawn. Your day on Monday, you see more showers and storms will be around. The front still slowly crossing through. So until it clears, we keep that beneficial rain around. But then things will begin to clear on out. So our best rain chances today, tomorrow, and then essentially negligible going all the way into next weekend as the heat begins to build. There is your heat wave, boys and girls. Middle, upper 90s. How do we get there? Look at that heat dome out here to the west. The temperatures are above 100 from the Mexican border to the Canadian border. That is a whole lot of heat. Uh, around our area where the rain has been, it's been cooler. Where the rain is not, we're in the 80s. Come in on the mezzanine. Most of us now are sitting in the 70s. For tonight, sky will be cloudy, rain and thunderstorms likely. Some locally heavy will be right around 70. Tomorrow, let's go with variable clouds, rain and thunderstorms likely, some with locally heavy rain, low 80s, upper 80s as we start drying out on Tuesday. It gets muggy, it gets hot, and it gets ridiculously hot by the weekend.